And here we are. We are here. I know everyone was panicking, but Tommy hasn't really performed very well in this show. So me and Dan had to kind of, uh, you know, he was, was emotionally not yeah, ready. Was yeah, it, Tommy was Even not emotionally time. ready. And me yeah. and Dan had to be like, hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, little guy. It's yeah. okay. It's okay. Look, look at the first super it. chat is like Tommy yeah. for the win. Well, <laughs> again, that's Tom, I, I, look, uh, and I know like Chris Carant, I know you, Chris, you're a great guy. But I think Tommy has kind of manipulated the spelling a little bit and created an alt account to make it look like it's Chris Carant so he could send himself a super chat. <laughs> Um, that's what's going on, but no, we are here. We are, I, I, I'm the reason we're, we're late. Just to, I'm the reason we're late. So, um, but we're here and we're ready to talk some shit and have some fun. But first and foremost, how you guys doing, Tommy? How's it going? Good, man. I'm excited. It's, uh, you know, pushing it a week last week hurt, but it was necessary. You know, we had some stuff come up, so I'm excited tonight. Excited to get into it. Yeah, yeah, me too. And uh, Tommy's, uh, you know, we were, had him on the Nintendo stream, the uh, the Nintendo Direct live stream that we had. That was a lot of mm -hmm. fun. And uh, I know it was funny because we all had our Nintendo stuff going and decked out. And Tommy's like, I mean, I could pull my Nintendo stuff in, but, yeah. you know. <laughs> it's like up on the top. Yeah. I got some Nintendo stuff tonight. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> wow. I may have, I may end up voting for Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So we've got Dan Vask fresh off his beat down in Mario Kart. Thanks to Jeremy. Me. Jeremy scheduled the uh, the live stream late on purpose, <laughs> making stuff up like the, some Super Bowl. What the hell that even means? Is that a, a ball with superpowers? What? What is that? What does that even mean? Inventing lies. <laughs> <laughs> can race me tired so. uh, I, I was really pissed off after you beat the hell out of me two weeks ago there i was like yeah, i can't stand for this dude it was uh, everything me and ripper threw at him was like oh he's only winning because it's 200 cc they would go back to 150 and he wins again we're like what the hell <laughs> no it was frantic we were in frantic, frantic that's right he's yeah only, he's only winning oh. because of frantic and then, yeah <laughs> And now we have 48 new tracks coming to Mario Kart, so oh we got a lot of we got a lot of good times ahead of us uh, in our. How Mario many tracks Kart do we already have? There's right now. There's 40. Is there? Uh, when it's when it's all said and done, there's gonna be 96 tracks. So so it's gonna double. So, so 30. Yeah. So it's, it's gonna basically gonna double. double. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> wow. this is insane. It's insane, it man. It's, it's awesome really though, is. man. Like Mario Tour has some cool tracks. I understand there's some concern about the you know, the porting them over. But I mean, if they just kind of flesh them out a little bit, that's why I like the game. It's just like a cool environment, you know? Mm -hmm. so. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's, uh, that's, that's going to be exciting, but this is bragging rights. Now I will tell you guys, um, we actually were planning on having a guest on this <clears> week, but <throat> scheduling, we couldn't make that happen. But I can tell you right now that next month, next month on bragging rights, one Chris Gore will be joining us next month on Bragging Rights. Yeah. So that's going to be shame, really cool. It's a shame Big. that Chris Gore has a life, you know. He's not like, willing <laughs> to go on a live stream with a bunch of losers on Valentine's. So, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, luckily, none of us have lives and we're here to be losers <laughs> yeah. and talk about all of our cool pickups this month. But let's yeah. go ahead and get this party started with round one. And who's going to start it out? Should I start it out? Should I start go us ahead. out on round one? Yeah, go ahead. Sure, go ahead. Okay, so let me start us out on round one. Okay, so I had an opportunity to pick up a, a, a one that's similar to this, but I wanted this one because I think this is cooler, all right? And I'll explain in more details, but this is my – I've got a couple of different ones to show this or overall, but I'm going to keep it to this one specific item here in the first round, and that is – hang on. I don't know why I did that. I meant to go full screen. Here is what I picked up right here. Mario oh, 64 man. The case in the different. box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I've, as a matter of fact – I've never let's, seen let's, a Nintendo 64 game from Japan before. Yeah, so – I was gonna get the original one in the box, but I decided oh, to go yeah. with that one instead. Yeah, Can we get awesome. the? Yeah, that's so, cool. I'm mm -hmm. currently playing uh, that game. Yeah, and it's it's sweet, wow. man. Like if I could get the if I could get the focus to work. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. And and then let me show you how it looks inside. So it's complete right there. 
Yeah. Awesome. Complete. Wow. Nice. I mean, it's Super clean cool. too. Very and clean. How, uh, and how 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 does it work when you if you want to play Japanese games on your on your American Nintendo sixty four? Can you do that? I'm pretty sure it works. I haven't tried it, okay. but I'm pretty sure it works. Because uh, I remember on Super Nintendo that you had to remove some some. Wow. That, yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. that's and so even cool. got this on the back. So that's awesome, dude. So. Can you read that? Yeah. No, I can't. That's I can barely. <laughs> I can barely read English. So, um, <laughs> so, I definitely can't read that. Hang on, let me put this back in the box. So, I was going to get Super Mario sixty four in the box for uh, for the N sixty four, but I, I decided to pick this one up instead. Oh, the the American one must be mm -hmm. insanely. Yeah, yeah it, it is more than this one for sure. But I just thought this one was really cool because of the yeah. novelty involved with it. Yeah, it's like a novelty that. for sure. Yeah, it's awesome. and I do think that this will work on my N64. I haven't tried it yet because I had a, a I think it was the, I had a, I had a foreign version of Diddy Kong Racing that I mm. that worked on my N64. I can't remember which one it was. Yeah, I'm, but, I remember the Super Nintendo oh, yeah. was region locked, but it was an actual actually physical lock that you could remove with <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like so, it, it, mm. it doesn't feel good to break your console, but yeah. yeah. I so but I don't know how the Nintendo 64 works. Yeah, and I mean, there's uh I've got I've got a few other Japanese games, not 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 that I got this month. Um but uh yeah, I'm pretty happy with that one. And so cool. coming out That's the awesome. gate hot with N64 and N64, like if you look at the kind of the age demographic of like people that follow us, like that's their nostalgia. Like for me it's Super Nintendo is kind of the thing that hits me in the nostalgia, mm -hmm. but Usually people that are, you know, following us, I think they're a tad bit younger than me, you know, like a five years or something. It's usually an N64, PlayStation 1. You know, that's kind of like, that's their nostalgia right there. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of people go crazy over my you know, PlayStation games that are going on. It's TV. interesting that because you, you guys are a little older than me. I, I'm 32. But I, I'm very nostalgic about the Super Nintendo, too, because mm -hmm. Brazil was almost like back in those days, it, it was a decade late in everything. So no. <laughs> we are kind of in the same generation because of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That makes that, sense. That, that sucks. That sucks, but I guess it's a good thing. <laughs> that late yeah. on it. Oh, right. fuck. Yeah. That just explains Dan not being good at Mario Kart for so long. It took, it's why he was having a practice and Lyndon busted him. So... <laughs> All right, so that's mine. I just don't even need to worry about anything else that's shown this round. Just think about the nostalgia from mm. Mario 64. This is the Japanese version in the box, complete with the instruction manual. Okay. And just think about first, all the good times you had. Just think first about Mario good game ever to to feature yeah. Charles Martinet as Mario, as the voice of Mario. Some, uh, some Who, so the, here. you guys want to go like clockwise and, and yeah. then it's yeah, easier mm -hmm. to, to that go. That means me, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So I had um, a couple of really good VHS pickups um, this month. So I'll just kind of start there. Um, I don't know if the chat is going to really remember, you know, this movie as fondly as Jeremy. I know you will and people of our age, um, but that is blood sport. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, that's a Listen, good condition too it is yeah and this is the uh first press of it so uh you know this is you know they they re-released it in 96 i think this came out in 86 yeah 86 87 so they they re-released it in 97 and with this warner brother stuff you always get like a greatest hits or whatever on top mm -hmm. but this is the first press so um that was cool and trending that's along awesome. those lines i found this um i showed this in one of my thrift store videos Street Fighter, uh, baby. Oh, dude. I, people hate that. People hate I that love movie. It, I love dude, that movie. Dude, it's great. There's so much nostalgia it for movie. it, you know? Yeah. I um, love it. But yeah, I just I, I guess I got on like a little Van Damme, uh, you know, yeah. trend there and picked up a few cool ones. Now, this. For me, it was Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> this is something that <laughs> I have been looking for. I had to show it here, even though I showed it in my video. 
I've been looking for this stuff. This stuff is hard to find, man. This guy, his VHS are hard to find. They just, I don't know if there were limited runs or what, but that's Uh Hulk Hogan, baby. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Um, Yeah. I had to actually pull this one apart and do a little cleaning on it because there was a little bit of dirty and, you know, dirtiness inside the windows there, but thing played great. Love it uh great pickup for 99 cent i think i paid awesome um and then i found that like i don't collect clamshell vhs that much but um when i see one that is just like special i'll grab it and i've never seen toy story with the hype stickers on it uh, right awesome so nice. the uh you know all of the when it first came out the the save 25 cent on this and that and this is the kind of stuff like i'm a nerd for um, you know, going in like the inserts, this is like a Christmas, you know, video shop, uh, thing wow. where you'd, you'd look and you'd see what was coming out and stuff. I could just sit here and look at stuff, sort like, of stuff this. like a, like, it's like, a, it's like time traveling. Yeah, it is, man. Yeah. Like I, I can just sit here and look at this all day, you know, yeah. um, mm-hmm. just at all the stuff that was coming out. So that's, that's just cool to me. Yeah. Um, you know, so those were the VHS pickups, but. Video game wise, I, uh, I I continued on my trend of grabbing some 3DO games. So I got Sewer Shark. Awesome. I Complete. don't even know what that is. I mean, it's I know what a 3DO is. I don't know what Sewer, Sewer Shark. Yeah. I don't Shark. remember that one. Wow. Uh, this this awesome, was man. released on like the Sega CD and stuff too. And maybe the chat. If you played it, you know, let me know in the chat. Um, but this was this is a rail shooter. So you're just kind of like. Mm. You know, on a rail or whatever. And Those are re- were very common in the 3DO. Mm, yes, they were. Shooters. Yeah, yeah. So it's cool, man. It's complete. It's in really good condition. And, uh, you know, got it for a deal. So I've been snagging these up when I see them for a deal. Uh, you know, so had to grab it. But this one I'm really excited about. Uh, Space Hulk. Oh, okay. look at that. That is awesome. Hulk. <laughs> Back when yeah. Electronic Arts was respected. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so man. this is remember those days. Look at that. This oh is uh God. this is like Doom, but they're you need to stream these 3DO games, dude. I know, That's dude. These know. are these it's like Doom. It's like it plays like Doom. It's a first person shooter of that era. And these uh you know, I forget what they're called, but these enemies are basically trying to suck your life force and everything. But I mean, just for the freaking, you know, art alone. Mm-hmm. It's it's a great addition to the collection. It's awesome. But um, I guess it's gonna be a Nintendo 64 type round. Oh boy! When the Nintendo 64 was dropping, they did like this mass advertising campaign, and they came out with Nintendo 64, Mario 64, everything. And you find those little oddities here and there, but they're they're hard to come across. I mean, you can find them on eBay and stuff like that. But even still, like there just aren't a whole lot of them. Uh, sometimes but coming across them in person is especially rare and i found this nintendo 64 radio baby what the what fuck the <laughs> hell is this i didn't even know this what existed. it's what? literally what literally, is that from a specific game you, it's yeah, made like, by nintendo what? what the hell is it's literally dude. made by nintendo you built um, this <laughs> bro <laughs> look You're at the co- look at the colors <laughs> Look at the colors. Holy sh! But uh, I've how, never seen this. How would you use that? Is that is just it's a, radio? a radio? Yeah, it's just a radio. It it works. But but how do you use it right with now. the Nintendo sixty four? Is that some sort of integration? No, because... no, it's just a radio. It's just like so. It's just the brand Nintendo sixty four. It's just 64. a branded radio. It's just like to look cool in the oh shelf. Oh my god, that's, that's amazing. super cool. Yeah, so <laughs> it's. So I was uh, bringing up the stuff. <laughs> Jeremy didn't even know it existed. <laughs> Nintendo 64, you can see it right there. Um, oh, no. Yeah. So this came in Mario packaging. This was Mario 64 packaging. It came in a blister pack. That Where the hell did you find this? I found this. Oh, uh, a guy near me had it listed on Facebook, and I went over there and met him, and he was a really cool guy. He actually told me about some auctions that I don't know of, that I didn't know of, in the area when i say in my area like i i'll drive like three hours for stuff um so i drove like two and a half hours to pick this up that is awesome meet the guy just because it was so unique i'd never seen anything like it before and it's all that's unique i didn't so i didn't know i'll I'll vote for tommy over me this round (laughs) does it work 
Does it work? It works. Yeah, yeah. I in my I did a behind the scenes video where I show all me picking up all this stuff or opening it, whatever the case is, and I I think I tested it on that video. I'm almost positive I, I did. Yeah, I showed it working. If I didn't, I'll I'll go back and reshoot it. But Holy it does crap. It does work. So freaking so badass, crap. man. <laughs> I hate it. Tommy. I well. hate Tommy. <laughs> No, 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 no. You know what this is? This is. This is not okay. It's just not. I agree. It never gets old. Well, at least I got to go before and not get shown up by that. So how's Dan gonna? How's Dan gonna respond for his first round? I I need to change strategies. This is gonna be. I've been there. Man, you had to pull that on my on, on the round I that I'm last. I'm glad <laughs> because I was gonna. I, I have a my, my my marquee is not shown. Uh, I yeah. was planning. I was thinking about coming out the gate hot with my with my number one item. I was like, I don't want to do it so far. But yeah, yeah wise so. choice. Yeah, but yeah, yeah I I don't have any choice, last. right? Because this is my my this is the round where I'm last, so I'm supposed to bring my my. Okay. Big box PC games. Okay. This here is super cool. <clears throat> Ooh. Star oh, nice. Trek like 25th anniversary. This is not the same version that it's on the NES. The NES version sucks. This here is a point and click adventure game that features the cast doing voiceovers like 25 years later this really was when, yeah okay it, it's like it's pretty much it, it, it's like an episode of og star trek it's super cool and let me show you the contents of the yeah box. let's see let's see let's see let's see the goodies inside that, you guys are gonna love this look at look at this it's like oh, look at oh, that. like it two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight discats. That is Jeez. sexy. This that is, is the, sexy. This eight is the game. discs to play a game, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the cool thing is that with this, it's very hard to do like piracy protection with with that sort of technology. And those guys had to use their crea creativity. So there's the manual here with all the inserts. It's complete in box. And when you check the manual, there's, let me find it. There's a map here with the Ooh. names of all the planets that you go on in, in the game. And, and look how clean that planet. manual is. That manual is oh, nice. clean. Cool, right? yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's in great condition. That's a good thing about it. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you on that, but I had to point no, out how okay. clean that was. But the way, the, the way this acts as a copy protection, as a, as a piracy protection, is that the map that you have in the game doesn't have the names of the planets ah it's only on the manual so if you don't have this oh you can't play it you yeah, cannot that's, play that's back in the day Same. man yeah yeah they used to do that sort of stuff before the dark days of yeah. steam and, and activation <laughs> codes and all that yeah. bullshit yeah. that ruined the market for yes. used games yes this is yeah that so is excellent i i could not i i could not recommend more this game, it is on Steam, but remember that you need this so you can find it online, but it is on Steam, it is on GOG.com, and Star Trek now is like 55 years old, wow. so it, it's it's pretty insane that when Star Trek, Star Trek was 25, they made this low, like our show is really old, <laughs> let's have Very a nice. game to, to celebrate, okay, so... I like how Dan like like adding the the fact that the instructions complement the game like that's yeah, that yeah. makes it even a better find. So yeah. that it's is super nice. awesome. That's man. a great and thing about it's, old games. It, it's really it, it's written like a like an episode of OG Star Trek. It's super Hell yeah. super mm -hmm. awesome. <clears throat> this is Magic Carpet sealed. This Ooh. is sealed since. That's cool. Where is it? Um, what a fuck! Ninety-one. Nineteen ninety-five. Oh, 
<laughs> this nice. was one of my first games ever. And oh, cool. I was so happy to find that seal. And like for, for, for a PC game from that time, that sort of 3D oh, yeah. graphics is pretty cool. Good. This, but this game is, is a shooter. And you're like this, the, you're this wizard guy flying around an open world map in this magic carpet and you just shoot people and stuff. Super cool, sealed. Brings and so many memories back from just yeah. games Same like that from fun. that era. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it, <laughs> Made for the right awesome. reasons to entertain and be yeah. fun. Yeah, I'm trying to find the, the minimum requirements. It's super funny to read them. Where is it? Oh, I can't find them. He's looking. It's a, oh, like yeah. <laughs> MS DOS 5.0 or superior <laughs> i don't I, know I what that means i think it's super super funny yeah it's like the, there are several versions of the uh of the ms dos thing but yeah this is relentless twinsense adventure and on the first episode of bragging rights i showed um the second game of, uh, of this series and I mentioned how rare it was to find the how difficult it was to find the the first game but I did found it it wasn't easy I had to import it from the United States and yeah it's super cool this is the game that the guy who pretty much invented the, the genre of survival ho horror made when he left the what is the name of the company the company that made got... Al Alone in the Dark. You guys remember uh, Alone in oh, the Dark? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so... that's an electronic arts product as well <laughs> right there. And again, they used to yeah. make... They used to be respectable. They used to be yeah. a respectable company. Used to be the Yeah, shit. Electronic Arts is the publisher. And Adeline Software is, the, is, is the, the studio that made the game. And it is the studio that Frederick Reynold, the, the, the French game designer that created... Uh, horror survival games that we know and love today as Resident Evil, that sort of stuff. The guy invented that genre with Alone in the Dark. He left the company that, that made Alone in the Dark and went to, to, to found Adeline Software. And this, is one, this, this was one of the first games he created after he did that. So yeah, a little Very bit of nice. Nice. game history. So Very this nice. is something. This is my final show, my final item. This is something that I don't know if people will care, but I care tremendously, but it's, I truly believe it's one of a kind. There's only one in the whole world like this right now. This is a Brazilian oh, oh, version. One more. My bad, my bad. Yeah, right. just, one, just one more. It's the final one. This is the Brazilian version of Knights and Merchants. Here's a... Title in Portuguese, Cavaleiros e Mercadores. <laughs> so cool, dude. It's nice. sealed. This is a, it's a German game that was released in the 90s. Where is it? The precise year? I don't. Ooh. It requires painting 100 and th 133. Um, 85 megab <laughs> megabytes of space on your hard drive. But yeah, this is a game from the 90s that I grew up with and it took me so long to find. I, I found it on, on, a, on, a, on a flea market and it's like, I truly believe there's, there's, no, there's no other copy of this sealed, Brazilian version sealed. I challenge everyone at home to find another one. I couldn't even find pictures of it online. So I truly believe this is unique right here, sealed at least. I, I, I didn't even find a, a one that is not sealed. So, wow. Yeah. So, it, nice. so th this is like, this is something like, where did you find this? Don't, don't, do you want to be specific, but like, is it online? Is that what it was? Or no, it, it wasn't online. It was on a flea market that Holy we have in our shit. town every wow. Sunday. The guy, the, the, the guy knew it wow. was valuable, but he didn't, he didn't know what it was exactly. But yeah, I got it for like the equivalent of about $20. Nice. But I don't find it on eBay. I don't find it on, on 
whatever, in Brazilian versions of, of eBay, Mercado Livre, Shopee, we have a bunch of Brazilian eBay-like websites. I couldn't find I couldn't find it there. I truly believe I am holding right now the only sealed copy for Knights and Merchants, the Brazilian version. I truly believe that, and I challenge the chat, the people at home, to prove chat. otherwise. Fro Frost is calling you out. Chat, Frost. <laughs> <laughs> Sexism in gaming. Sexism uh, in gaming. It's Dan Vosk. Da da Dan Vosk. Dan Vosk Bro isn't Brosk. meant to be easy on the eyes for you. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's round one for everybody. We got Tommy with the N64 boombox. We got Jeremy with the Japanese version of Mario. Mario 64. Hell yeah. And we got Dan dropping bombs all over the place. So what's it going to be? I mean, I would, I would, I would not vote for me at this point, but, uh, but I am the owner of the channel. And the only reason this exists is because I created it. So maybe that's enough reason for everybody. It was Dan's idea. So I have these cats. I named it. I named it. I have these cats. Hey, I got 6% of the vote. That's a hell of a lot more than I thought Let's I was getting. Dan is it. crushing. Dan Let's is go. crushing. Yeah. Dan is crushing. Down. Oh, Tommy would have come back, and I'm no. up to 9%. No! No! I'm no. up to 9%. There we go. Let's get it. Right I mean, there. I'm up to 10%. Who wouldn't want to put one of those on there? Come shelf? on. Huh? Tell me you Dan, don't want that. Dan's crushing. Dan's on crushing. The shelf? I need to go vote for myself. Okay. <laughs> I've, hey, I've got like eight youtube accounts okay i can vote for myself on all of them really quick <laughs> all right i'll give you guys another minute or two but yeah so we are off and rolling with bragging rights monthly this is a show made for all of you um you know because we know that a lot of people like to see this collecting element and i'll be honest with you i'm doing a lot of traveling this month so these boys are in trouble next month okay mm -hmm. i'm doing a lot Yikes. of traveling going to a lot of different places i'll be in texas i'll be over in uh i'll just say uh eastern florida because i'm in the west right now it's gonna so bring I, guns I'm, I'm 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 bringing the heat next month okay i'm bringing the heat all right dan vask is our winner at 58 percent i should have uh since Space. dan had like a one-of-a-kind rare front item i should have just like played the ocarina and then, <laughs> like, that's how it goes, right? See? That's what we do. Yes, yes. <laughs> you don't have it. You Tommy's don't have still strategy. Tommy oh, is still Rob. salty. Tommy's still salty over that one. <laughs> He's still salty. Such bitterness. All right. So Dan Vask wins round one. And it's good that Dan got a win because he didn't get any last night in Mario Kart. So it's good that he got one tonight. So <laughs> I didn't say anything because I want to preserve the friendship. <laughs> what do I do? I uh, uh yeah, let's I go uh, first, and Jeremy yeah, goes last. This one, yeah, yeah, is that right? Okay, yeah. yeah. So All right, round I'll, two is underway. I'll start out with uh, something. I don't know if there are a lot of fans of this out there. We've talked about it a couple times on the show before. Um, you know, it has a place in my heart and i'm I, I like there are a few things that i like to collect the the merchandising for in addition to just like action figures or whatever and silver hawks is one of them <laughs> what and i got these oh 1986 God. if those don't say 1986 like the shape of them i, I don't know what does i i, I don't know how many people are going to appreciate how amazing that is, but that is amazing. Holy crap. 86. Where did you find those? Sunglasses. Yeah, just like they're roached too. Oh, dude. Oh. I would be so yeah. tempted to open this and just wear yeah. this. Everywhere. Yeah. Holy just a, crap. a guy that was a couple hours from here, I actually had him uh, ship that me this crazy. because I couldn't find anything else in the area that I wanted. Um, but yeah. 1986. Oh, so you only travel if you if you're gonna like really. I gotta like, a, yeah, I gotta maximize show. it. I mean, if I gotta, yeah, um, that, that's go right. for like one thing, it's like, damn, I got another thing here. I got a story about for that too. It's it's not this thing. Um, this is something that I picked up um offline, and it's a uh, Home Alone two. Uh, here we go. Buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Home Alone two buttons. Uh, this is from Toys R Us. 
and this is a uh, promotional when the movie was coming out so i don't know if you can see it real well but like yeah i can see it that's not a scene in the movie you know so it's like and on here it's like uh you know uh well he doesn't have any on here but it usually it usually says like holy cow and stuff like it's just <laughs> you know promotional stuff before the movie was released so those would have been hanging in the store uh dollar 99 at toys r us back in the day so Bobby and his home alone stuff yeah <laughs> I, I had to pick it up those are a couple things that i pick up promotional items for um but dan i i said you probably like some of my pickups okay so i got a big box computer game too oh really yeah I That's a first for you. Got home all right. too. Oh, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> the That's the only way you're going to have a... Uh... Wow. Oh, but actually, but, all, but really, that's awesome. I never heard about that yeah, game. On in PC. all fairness, like, look at the look at the sprite on there. Can you see Kevin? Crazy. Yep. Is that? Yep. I, I know that there's a Super Nintendo version. Maybe it's mm. the same. It's a port or they something. They suck. Yeah, they suck. The the Nintendo one, the best one, is they're on the Genesis. The best console versions are on the Genesis. Right. The best versions are the computer games. Um. Mm. So the sprites are better. It awesome. follows more closely to the storyline of the movie. Like the action makes sense. Like what's happening makes sense. You know what I mean? Um. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and it's it's just like. Just like your stuff, you know what I mean? You can open it up. Wow, boom. super cool, man. <laughs> it's all there. This. Got all the discs this. there. Um, and the cool thing for me was I didn't know this was coming with it. And so oops, got it upside down. And so it's got all the merchandising <laughs> that came out for the movie. Well, there's your shopping list. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is a shopping list for me. I knew a few of these things, and they're very, very, very expensive and rare. Um, but that's like a cool throw in for me just to have that. And then of course the manual is in pristine condition. Hell wow. yeah. um, awesome. So that's a really cool pickup, man. It's, it's, uh, I, I have to get with you to find out what, like, I don't know. I've played these online before, but never tried to play them on hardware. So I don't know. Um, but I don't know. Were you guys a fan of Mario paint when it came out? Mm -hmm. Dude. I, I bought it like last year and I just uh, I, I I was I was playing for hours. I was just going mm -hmm. to test it. <laughs> this is uh this is something this freaking guy, man, I went back and forth with the guy who had this. Uh he lived like three hours away and I couldn't find anything else up there and he wouldn't ship it to me. And I was like, damn it, it's the only one I've ever seen um of this particular thing because I'll show you in a minute, like there were three different variations put out. I've just never seen it um, online. And he just had it for like 20 bucks, which is a stupid price. And so it's along the lines of Mario Paint. It's the Home Alone coloring book, baby. Oh, my God, <laughs> dude. Oh, my God. Wow. The computerized <laughs> coloring book. <laughs> Colin Kalki has a podcast now. So he should invite you. He should invite you. And uh, Capstone is the one who put this out. They put out Home Alone 1, 2, and this coloring book. And I was like, what? I saw it on Facebook. I was like, I can't. Like, how does this guy have this? And it was just, yeah, he just had it. And it's all complete in there. Let me get this open. And you guys can see it. It's got that big old disc. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, it's got all the, the yeah, manuals. That's my and reaction. Stuff. Yeah. And everything so i mean this is like <laughs> targeted to a certain demographic so i gotta wonder yeah. how well this sold and how many were even put out you know what i mean so it's it's just cool yeah. to have it it's and a have, thing yeah yeah it's like a collector's piece i mean i don't i'm not gonna invest in a computer that can play this stuff but <laughs> you know it's cool yeah I, I am a mega fan of that movie um yeah he is, but yeah, he is. my final pickup was cool because I saw it listed for like 20 bucks and I was like, well, the box is worth that. And um, I thought that it was in pretty poor condition from the photos, like the actual item, but I'll show you what I, when I opened it up, what I found. And so I got me an NES. Hell yeah. Advantage controller Hell in the box, yeah. baby. Oh, awesome. Hell yeah. That's yeah. badass. <laughs> 
So, I mean, this the the freaking box alone is worth way more man. than that. Um, that is awesome. I just, yeah, I just love the colors, man, of the these peripherals, you know, for the Nintendo uh, back in the day. It's just freaking cool. And yeah. so when I opened it up, I'll show you what I thought I saw online. Because everything's in here. It's still got the plastic and stuff. Um, wow. And I saw it, and I thought, oh, okay, well, that thing's pretty pretty beat up can you see like the black how it looks wrinkly oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay mm -hmm. what that actually is that's actually the original plastic oh fuck protective. no wow. don't do yeah. it don't yeah. do it wow. <laughs> so it's never really been played with even wow. I mean, and it's like I, that's what i saw i was like well it looks clean but the pla like that plastic is beat the hell up and i got it in my hand and i was like oh Wait a minute. Oh. That's actually like the freaking <laughs> protective plastic that goes over top of it. So wow. this thing is freaking like unplayed yep. condition. That is that so is badass. I, was like, Dude, I, know, I thought you were gonna you were just gonna rip that just off rip it in front off. of us. <laughs> yeah. uh, just in front of our very eyes. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking rip it right off. Yeah, so uh yeah, man. Cool stuff. That's that's all I got. Nice, very, very nice. Awesome. All right, not too bad. I don't like you, but not too bad. <laughs> yeah, Dan. So it's my turn. Well, my previous round was my strongest. <laughs> <laughs> I won one already. So, okay, <laughs> I have this here Top Gear. Oh, nice. Yeah. Make, it, yep. ma Here, make me, me full, full screen. screen. Yeah, full screen. Yeah. I yeah. always love that game. Here in Brazil, for some reason, the soundtrack of, of this game is so... It, it, like, people adore it here. The, the, we have those... We have bands that play that live. It's just, just a fantastic soundtrack and a fantastic racing game. I was playing that the other day when I got it to test it and I, I just played it for hours because it, it really holds up. It's a fantastic one. Hell yeah. And I got so people like else. bands play that randomly live or like bands play the soundtrack. Yeah. Like we have, we, we have a, a style here in Brazil called Axé, which is like, it's some, how do I describe a chef for, for, for a non-Brazilian? Like, it's a mixture of samba with pop music. I, I guess that's a good description. And, there's a, and there are a chef bands that play the soundtrack of this game on stage, and people don't know where, it, where it's from. And, and it's like a good, good music to party to. Wow. That's cool. So that's, <laughs> that's absolutely insane. So there's this game from, not from my childhood, from my teenage years that I always, always wanted to have an original copy, but I never did. And I only could, uh, I would only find online the, the, uh, it's a PS2 game. You, remember those, those red cases for PS2 games? I, I, it's like, it's about the, the bigger ones, the bigger case. Oh, PS2 games. Okay. No, for the PS2, PS2 the, the red labels. Were, oh, the red label think, one. Yeah. 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 Uh, greatest hits. Big, biggest hits. Yeah. yeah greatest hits. Mm -hmm. Greatest hits. But I, I would always find that game on, on that sort of case. And, and I was like, no, I want the, the, the black case. And it's, it's a good metaphor because it is the black nice. game oh, on a black yeah, PS2 yeah. case. So yes. this game nice. was insane because it was the first first person shooter that I saw that you could, mm. that that your bullets could actually cause damage to the scenery. You could like you could open doors by blasting a shotgun in, in on it. So it, it it was a fantastic immersive first person shooter game. We we were we were coming from like stuff like Medal of Honor on PS1. And, and and that sort of stuff going from that to this was insane to me mm -hmm. so yeah this this have a very special place in my heart and 
it's complete in box with the inserts and the manual i don't even know what this is there's <laughs> only one way to get free playstation 2 stuff sign up all your games now okay so it's it's a registration card super Very cool nice and it's got black manual. label that's yeah. the thing about when you collect the like the greatest hits you're always like okay it's cool to have it but i don't it's like cool. the players it's like player's choice on the n64 games you're like i don't want the exactly. player's choice I want the exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah first first the black one then i start collecting the 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 red label mm -hmm. so yeah that is my round two very very nice, nice. all nice. right all right dan vask bring in the heat uh -oh. and now it's my turn and how am i going to play this do I want to play my strong hand now or wait until the final round? Ooh, no, you need to do it now. I'm going to I'm gonna show off a few minor pickups I had uh, first. Uh, a couple of minor pickups. Hang on. Let's see. <clears throat> okay. So a couple of minor pickups so far for this month. Um, I got WCW versus NWO Revenge. Nice. Yeah, okay. nice in 64 everybody yeah. knows that one it's a great one yeah. nice way. Um, Classic. i went on kind of a wrestling kick this month on n64 games wcw versus nwo world tour okay. another one nice. everybody yeah. everybody remembers that everybody one. played that um and of course war zone um yeah. you know another i was just on a wrestling kick you know and so mm -hmm. i don't you know these are just cool games that i want i always think about some games that i can put behind me to play like in the background because people really like seeing that also some nes pickups i had marble madness oh yeah fun love the, dude, this game is very <laughs> frustrating this game will drive you crazy all right <laughs> it will send you insane it, it's addicting as hell it's a simple but infuriating game it mm -hmm. really like is. it's a competitive puzzle or something like that it's it's this it's like all of these courses that you have to like balance your marble on to get from one point to the other and there's all these obstacles it's absolutely infuriating <laughs> now i'm going to bring one that really changed the game for sports all right this is a this is the first game where you could actually fight your opponent oh yeah. blades <laughs> of steel, Blade steel baby Dude, you could I actually fight yeah you could actually fight and it was awesome <laughs> and it I was so that. badass that was wow. actually part of it and it was so cool <laughs> mm -hmm. now i uh, i picked this next one that i'm going to show i actually do not remember playing it and so the reason i picked it up is because i want to play it i don't i don't i don't know anything about this game it's a uh, mock rider tommy are you hmm. familiar with this one uh no i don't remember playing that. i don't remember this one but it looks cool like yeah. that's a you know obviously it's a bike it's a motorcycle game you know mm -hmm. so yeah, maybe that looks really game. cool looks really cool so yeah. those are a few of the the pickups i've had so far and then i'm going to show off my one something that i'm pretty happy uh -oh. about. i'm pretty happy uh, about this one okay so the thing down so so this is something this is something <laughs> that has been this is something that's been uh featured in a, a lot of the smash bros games um it's something that you've had former Democratic senators saying it appears to be an assault weapon. Oh, um, so I have this in the box. Oh, the super scope. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. And let me tell awesome. you, it's nice. beautiful. <laughs> like it is in great shape. So let me open this up here and show everybody how you know, perfect it is. Yeah, I don't think I ever used it. Oh, YouTube's man. gonna flag so, this video for showing <laughs> yeah. guns. So, <laughs> so let's look and see how good of shape this bad boy is in if I don't knock it over trying to get it out. But it's perfect. It has not been used. It is perfect. Wow. Like yeah, it is in nice. perfect shape. Yeah. Awesome. Damn. Have you had it's the opportunity to play it yet? I have not yeah. yet. It is badass, though. I mean, this thing is cool as hell, man. So yeah, it's just such a cool, you know. <laughs> Nintendo's always doing stuff like that. Hell you know? yeah, awesome. hell yeah. So there it is, Super Scope. Um, yeah, I, I can't remember what senator or what the, politicians were always trying to say it was like mm -hmm. so dangerous, but it's been in all the Smash Bros games as a weapon, you know, for the characters. Yeah. So mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. I am a Nintendo fanboy. You're damn right I am. <laughs> the, um, the funny thing is that Nintendo did that, like looking like a bazooka or something, because the mm-hmm. previous one that looked like a revolver, like that looked like a pistol, got yeah. a lot of shit from those mm-hmm. yeah, the zapper, politicians. Yeah, yeah. The, zapper, they, the zapper. Yeah, the zapper. And they did that one. To, to try to, 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 to please everybody, and it, it still got shit. Yep. <laughs> it was like Lieberman. That. It was Lieberman that said it. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So Lieberman. Freaking mm-hmm. politicians. But there you go. So that's uh, <laughs> that's my round two right there. So you got Tommy going full Home Alone, losing his mind, uh, but also the <laughs> NES Advantage. Which Dude, that's insane. I gotta say that the, the touch with the with Brand that new. right there, that's that's pretty cool the right box. there. That is pretty cool. That is and the cool. box. Um Dan Vask, you got what? You got what? Doesn't even remember. And matter. black label black. It doesn't matter because I have this, okay? And you gotta say me that's so what? <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> so let me uh, now uh, i don't <laughs> tell me found a way to wear it without let's hang on i'm putting the, i'm putting the poll in the chat right now give me just a let's second go. yeah i won't even be mad let's when i lose this one and they fit. They fit jeremy well tommy <laughs> All right, hang on, Tommy. And there, vote away, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get back over vote. there. Vote, vote for your boy. Right there. It's a freaking super scope. It's a super scope. It's a super scope. Like, yeah, the wow. advantage is cool. Okay, yeah. but this I, is I passed up a super scope super last week. Scope. No, wait, you know, <laughs> that's the <laughs> fucking problem. Because hey, I got violent. one, and it's violence. Looks like a weapon. It looks like a weapon. Looks like a weapon. Violence. Hey, I'm, going, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going full Lord of the Rings trailer. Remember the N64? Remember the N64? You love the N64. You love the NES. You love the NES. So yes, it does. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. No. Look, it's got plastic on the cartridge. That's from the game store. all right so uh tommy is not gonna win this round and he just has to accept it you well, know i got 10 percent. it's probably my family watch all right <laughs> only you your why. family you can't see it no do i have to vote first or something no no you should just show up in the chat okay uh, no, oh, 59 to to see the results okay. you have to okay. vote. Cool. Bit, uh, yeah, no, vote well, for me. Well, well, vote? Yeah, yeah. No, it shouldn't. I didn't, I didn't have to I don't have to vote. Really? Mm-mm. Mm. Yeah, it's so Why is my anyway. stream lagging up on my end? Is Dan's been having... voting for himself. Dan has been compromising this I've whole been. time. What? Of course I've been. What? What do you mean? What? What? Yeah. Why is that what? extraordinary? Okay. <laughs> I see what happened last month. Oh, so. anybody, anybody, uh, anybody have any issues on the stream? It might just be my internet that's kind of lagging up right now. So, uh, 69 for 69. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right so round two is at a close let's see so i opened round one so basically so now dan goes first i go now second I'm Tommy first. Goes third. Yeah. So, yeah 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 all yeah, right dan good, now, now again scheme. i just want to say 800 people are watching that's our biggest audience yet this show continues to grow i will leave this i will leave this public here on the channel um and then next month and we do this basically. That was it. The first Monday of every month is when we yeah. normally would do it. We had to back this this uh, most recent one up. But Chris Gore will be joining us next month. And yep. before you go, Dan, give me just a minute. We got a couple super chats I need to catch up on. I apologize when I get these sooners. Chris Coran says Tommy for the win tonight, no doubt about it. Uh, Ladart Boo. says May the best legs, I mean man, win. LOL. <laughs> Thank you, Ladart. <laughs> Rachel Lindbergh. Team Tank Top, let's go. Exper- expecting all of you to bring your very best. Thank you. Uh, mm-hmm. Blue-Eyed Scorpio, I'm undefeated versus Jeremy and Mario Kart. Hashtag bragging rights. Uh, <laughs> Blue-Eyed Scorpio. Dude, Blue-Eyed Scorpio the other day it was on our Sports War stream, and he's always sarcastic as hell. 
And so right when the sports, I think it was Sports Wars dropped the link to our Streamlabs and just was like, oh, you know, so, so, so support the stream on our Streamlabs. Blue Hat Scorpio commented in the chat. He goes, how about you support my Streamlabs? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that's just all he was saying. It's just it's sarcasm. It's next level. Uh, Ladar, again, none of us have lives. We're here watching you. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you, Ladar. Uh, and Pee Wee Pierre, Jeremy, are you and Tommy brothers or cousins? Uh, then Dan, what covers are you planning to do? Because your covers of 70s and 80s rock are amazing. Uh, yes, Tommy and I are family. So it's all I'll say. Family. We're family. 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 Well, Dan, there's definitely some more like 80s family. covers coming, but I want to, I, I, I don't like to just do covers for the sake of doing covers like exactly like they were anymore. I like mm. to give them a little, a little bit of, uh, of a personal spin. But yeah, there's definitely some good 80s stuff coming. Nice, nice. We're trying um, to get them to do some Alice in Chains too, so you guys keep leaning on them about that. Hell yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Bear <laughs> businesses. Did Dan sell his sleeves for that game? <laughs> yeah. I think that was the last. I hate you oh, should yeah. be glad I'm wearing clothes. Okay, it's freaking hot. In the I am. Day. Trust me, I definitely am. Although uh, the super okay. chats probably get a few more super chats if you weren't wearing clothes and. Honestly, I'd be, I I can block you out and I could just take the money. So, um, but uh, Nate D says, I have uh, Xbox Black, a greatest realistic gun sounds ever. Hell yeah. yeah. The Xbox version has higher resolution. Yeah. And um, faster loading. Nice. Uh, input latency says, uh, the in zap in Splatoon is the pre super scope. That's right. And input latency, I heard, I saw you asking about the uh, Streamlabs. Uh, yeah, I did get, I, I read the Streamlabs, uh, when they're, when I'm hosting. Um, and I did get to your stream, your labs last night. Uh, it was a little after the fact. And, you know, sometimes like it's hard to get to these chats right when they come in, but we, we will get to all of them. We will. Uh, D Day Direwolf says, go team man bun. Speaking of team man bun, Dan Vask, you're up. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So, remember the PC Gamer magazine? I do. I guess I, I told you guys about that on, on our first episode. But over here in Brazil, just for the people at home, over here in Brazil, we had that branch of PC Gamer magazine that was called the CD Expert magazine. And, like, they would sell complete full games as well as the, the occasional, the, the usual demo discs that the PC Gamer magazine used to come with. But there would also be full, complete games. And that was the first magazine that showed up here in Brazil. And that's only a Brazilian thing. I couldn't find any other magazine uh, uh, outside of Brazil that did that. It's amazing. So there was this other magazine that did that too. And it was called Full Games. Nice. And this oh, nice. one came with Worms Armageddon. I was telling Hell Jake, yeah. Drunk 3PO, about this game that we should stream that game because it's awesome. It's a it's turn strategy, like very competitive and very funny. And inside here, there's the magazine with. Oh, the I game. love that. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Super cool. And <laughs> the minimal requirement requirements are. Pentium 100, 70 megabytes. I remember when I had this game when I was a kid that I could only have this game installed plus The Sims. <laughs> like two games on my hard drive. And it's 70. Oh, you guys won't be able to see that. 70, 70 megabytes. This is insane. So, yeah. Full games, Worms Armageddon. Now, I got a bunch of those magazines. The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. <clears throat> Ryan was complaining that I showed Skyrim. So here we go. Here's Morrowind. This is the <laughs> third game. Skyrim is Skyrim is the Elder Scrolls 5. This one is 3. And it's it was the first Elder Scrolls in proper 3D. So this is Bethesda's history here, gaming history being made here. This is an awesome game, and it still holds up. You can't. Th there's still an active modding community that does an excellent job of keeping this game updated. Super cool. 
Ryan's here and he says uh, a slight improvement. <laughs> a slight improvement. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll take that. Okay. Another one. Full games. Caesar four. Nice. So this I saw someone in the chat asking for Sierra games. This is this was published by Sierra. It's not a point and click adventure game like the old Sierra games, like um, King's Quest. Quest for Glory, that sort of stuff, but it is technically a Sierra game. It's a real-time strategy game with awesome graphics. Look at that 3D. That you looks could excellent. zoom in all the way. Nice. Navi Cesar. That's awesome. So, yeah. What is amazing about those games is that those are not B-side games. Those are good games, and the price is like... 16 reais back on those days one dollar was like two reais so this is like eight dollars a full game plus a magazine with news about the gaming world and etc for eight dollars wow. hell yeah That's a crazy. full game okay as you can see prince of persia those are not like underground b-side games That's excellent. Yeah. This is triple A Ubisoft here. Yeah. Being sold for eight dollars. This is insane. Uh, the good old days. No. Yeah. <laughs> so they used to love us. Exactly. Havoc. Yeah. Six nine uh, nine six nine. They used to love us. They did. They used to. They used to. Yeah. So those were the full games magazines. But there, there was another one called Senya PC. Uh, that there was. The CD expert one, and I think I got one here. Okay, this will be my final item. Oh, this is good. Fallout 2. Oh, Very cool. nice. <laughs> God, man, I this love these. Awesome game. Yeah. And it was it's so nostalgic. different from the other Fallout games. This wasn't Bethesda yet. It was another company that was making those games. So it was like was like a Diablo game, a dungeon crawler. It wasn't a first-person shooter slash RPG. Chat really liked that one. Chat really liked that so, one. So yeah, nice. And this this one, this one is interesting. They did it. They did a little bit different. This one, the the packaging is the magazine. Itself. God, I miss I miss gaming magazines so much, dude. Yeah, I miss same. them so much. <laughs> so, yeah. Hell my, yeah! Nice. Very my round three. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, Matt with a twenty. Simpsons Road Rage and Spider Man Two were awesome on PS2. Hell yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Loved uh, OG Star Wars Battlefront One and Two on PC. Born in '95. Yeah. I mean, obviously the OG Battlefront games are amazing. I, I dude, I. I I unapologetically like the t Battlefield 2015 and 2017, though. I enjoyed the hell out of those games. The multiplayer. The multiplayer. I mean, well, hell, the, the 2015 didn't even have a campaign, and 2017's campaign was pathetic. But uh, I really liked the multiplayer on those games. But, uh, yeah, nice job, Dan Vask or Van Dask. Thank you, um, Van <laughs> Dask. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Buy the Van so, Dask shirt. Don't buy for the don't, don't don't do that. He needs to win. He needs to win <laughs> if he wants you to buy his shit. He needs to win. I need next to week. win a fifth time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this round, I'm actually going to show some uh, a few pickups that I had. Um, these are these aren't like really retro, you know, but they are some pickups. Tommy already knows about this um, because mm -hmm. I, I really. I really was happy when, when I found these in Target because I was informed that they were in Target. And so, Tommy, you already know what I'm about to say. But, mm -hmm. uh, oh, my bad. Why hey, am I giving yeah. you a full All screen right. of this motherfucker? We'll just Fuck skip him. your ass. Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him. So, these Super 7 G.I. Joe figures are now in Target. This is Snake Eyes. The classic packaging is just Here incredible. Yeah. Um, right there. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> Dan Basque. Um, but it's a, it, it's the classic packaging is what it's really awesome. throws it over the top. Um, so I got everybody that was available. Bazooka, 
uh snake eyes bazooka we got Dude. major blood if i could stop dropping everything i think you need to here. post a picture on twitter wearing the your nintendo because <laughs> <laughs> nice. your nintendo bazooka what is the <laughs> name like a million dollars. like that the super scope uh, the another super snake scope eyes has, has that. lady uh lady j yeah i got two snake eyes so mm. i can open up one uh, okay, yeah. um we got duke not channing tatum and nice. of course the goat himself storm shadow so i picked all of those up just because they're out there and, and they're part of my collection and i've got to have them but the main draw here okay and again those super seven figures i think they're way overpriced tommy can speak to that better than i can oh yeah they're insanely overpriced but mm -hmm. they're it, it's they're GI Joes. Like I, I pinch myself every, t every time I go into a store and see GI Joes on the shelf because we went so long without having them, but they're, they're extremely overpriced and they're not even O-ring figures. You know what I mean? And so GI Joe collectors know what that means, you know, mm -hmm. O-ring. And those are, those are not, but Super 7, I think they just overpriced a lot of their stuff, don't they, Tommy? Yeah, I mean, it's um, even their, their ultimate figures are 50 bucks, so there's a lot yeah. of griping about that in the collector community. So yeah. they have their excuses, but it's just, it's up there, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But my uh, my nice, sweet pickup this month. Now, I don't know if you guys are going to be familiar with this or not. This released. This is a this is a retro re-release. Okay, so it's a retro re-release, still in the package. Okay, and I believe that these were re-released in 2019. It's a game everyone's going to know about, but it's in the package, and it will never leave the package. And that is. Shadows of oh! the Empire. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, nice. The first level of this game <laughs> is the best Star Wars game ever. Nice. That is greatness right yeah. there. Um, Dude, those are pretty awesome. expensive. Mm -hmm. I got a good deal on this, but these are pretty expensive right here. And, and the yeah. story is um, like episode five and a half, like, right? Let's see. Something hang like on. that. Mm -hmm. yeah well well you got yeah hang on I'm trying, god damn it can you see it yet yeah yeah okay i i don't know why i don't know why this is not um focusing in but all of this oh my god come on come on oh my god so aggravating well either way you, everybody knows what i'm talking about but these were re-released in 2019 um it's not the only thing that was re-released but finding this in the package this isn't very, this isn't very, uh, super awesome. Hard. It's not very easy to find in the package. What so, companies uh, obviously, those re releases. Do what? What What companies doing those re releases? Uh, my finger is, I don't know if I cut my finger on something. My finger. Mm. What? Let's see. Um, I'm not sure who, it is. limited run. Yeah, limited, limited run, run games. Limited, limited run, run games. games. Yeah, so. they do a bunch of stuff for a big box PC mm -hmm. games too. Yeah. They release yeah. physical versions of indie games. Mm -hmm. They're super awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I yeah, a lot of people. Megan, Jeremy's really bringing it this month. Damn right. Pee Wee Pierce mm -hmm. is currently picking my jaw up off the ground. See, see, mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> uh, pretty cool so and that yeah. game is hard man that game is super hard dude it's not as hard as the super nintendo star wars games though oh my god oh yeah definitely definitely <laughs> those honestly honestly no bullshit and ryan are you still watching we should stream the old school star wars super nintendo games just so people can see us rage <laughs> I, I i truly believe that that current day games have dumbed down and made us worse at games because i used to could play those games very well i can't even beat the fucking first stage anymore like that's how bad mm -hmm. i am at games because modern <laughs> games have made us so bad like go back and play contra yeah yeah there's yeah. ryan we'll get buff like yes yes and, go and back Sun and play contra Sunset right Riders. now yeah Sunset. there's like, a bunch of co-op games that we could stream absolutely and so it's like you know with um with how these people were complaining about metroid dread and again metroid dread's not an easy game but it's not it's not like contra or or okay. something like that you know what i mean it's not ninja turtles the first ninja turtles game on nes that game was yeah. difficult it's not that but anyway you know um but yes that's uh, that's my round mainly like i said i don't the super seven stuff i, I don't expect that wow anybody but i was really happy that i picked those up and i do think we have to start including just like regular stuff we're picking up too because there's a lot sure. of stuff you know sure. but uh it's about but yeah, collecting. The, yeah the shadows of the empire Whatever is definitely is. A, a hella cool game and uh yeah so that's my round two 
Tommy Tron. Awesome. What Home yeah. Alone bullshit you got to show us? None. Uh, but I'll tell you, it's it's cool that you picked up all the Super 7 figures, and I applaud that effort of going uh -oh. to the store. There's a lot of sarcasm. There's a them. lot of sarcasm oh. in that. There's what a you lot did of not sarcasm. Get are the Home special Alone editions. Condoms. What? Wow. <laughs> so is that why you turned your camera off? No. <laughs> you went to go pick that up as soon no, make him full oh, screen. Make him full no, screen. This was right no, there. I ain't making him full screen. <laughs> make myself want. full screen. I'm not gonna make Tommy full screen. That's what the people want. Uh, so this is you can see all the chrome in it and his vac metal face plate. Wow. So that this looks was, awesome. good. Holy this shit, is a Target badass. special yeah. edition. Don't you good luck finding this. that in the store? Tommy's using his white privilege to get all this, this stuff. Is, uh, <laughs> good luck finding that in the store. <laughs> um so i got that snake eyes you got too you can see him like right there um but yeah i, I thought it was him. much cooler to get the comic book variation oh of the snake eyes God. so he's got the gi joe 21 cover first appearance of storm shadow and they have comic panels on the back so yeah look awesome. at him black with the gray accent this is not okay it's just not <laughs> <laughs> so that's snake eyes i mean look at him oh man he's just so so good um like you said they're overpriced uh but they they look damn good on the shelf so uh the next thing i got I, I showed on a video, but... No, fuck we, you. Fuck you. Like, I was so happy. I was so happy <laughs> about those Super 7 figures. I was so happy. I wasn't even bringing it in for competitive reasons. I was just like, hey, let me show off my Super 7 because I'm happy that I got them. And no, I can't even enjoy that. Tommy's going to sit here and just whip it out and just let it flop on the table. It's like Jeremy shows one particular item and Tommy shows up with that same item just made of gold or something like that. <laughs> Hollywood's telling us this is the only discussion. No, ah! 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 That's me right now. That's me. <laughs> That's me. Oh my god. Continue, Tommy. How dare I interrupt Sorry. you and your your greatness? Sorry for that. Um so <laughs> uh, I found this in a thrift store for about half what it's worth and uh turns out it's like in way better shape than I thought it was. And that's the Wii U Metal Mario controller, baby. The fight is there set. everything is meant to throw shade at me this round? Is that what this is? Is, this, is literally everything meant to just throw shade at me? <laughs> Let me show you this. Wow. Let me get it out. Because I opened it and I was like, holy crap. Like, here, I expected here, it to be all scratched. I, I, up. I have one more little skit to show you, real quick. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> See the way that's wrapped, baby. God wow. dang it, that is so fucking dude. Cool. You should be wearing never, clothes. never. Uh. Use. Um, and I have I have the Mario and Luigi. I didn't have the Metal Mario, and it's just I expected it to be scratched and everything, uh, because it's just back metal. It's just cheap back metal, but. Nope. Perfect. Congra Brand congratulations, Tommy. Congratulations, <laughs> Tommy. I'm so happy for you. Um, okay. All the instructions or stuff are in there, too, but I want to set that off to the side. Uh, I'm glad your channel only has like 1,200 subscribers now. Happen. I'm glad you yeah. only have 1,200 subscribers, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> um... That, that made me feel upset. <laughs> uh, um, all right. So it's been a long stream. I imagine you guys probably need like a little snack, you know, and when you got a snack, sometimes you don't have room to put your snack down. <laughs> no. Sometimes you need a little snack tray. Oh, what about those were so snack tray, oh baby? man, I remember those, dude. We used to oh. eat on those watching cartoons and playing video games. Dude. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 
and it's beautiful too man all the colors are vibrant a little bit of a spot up here i mean but i mean come on like this is from 1989 um you know kids eat on these beat them up everything else and this Hell thing the yeah. colors are still vibrant uh, that is cool that yeah. is cool like this this reminds me of the mario uh you know super show so yeah that just that's cool dude screams that cool. nostalgia to me um you know and if you guys if you guys have your snacks and you you know you you pull your popcorn off i mean just imagine right it's 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 1989 where we're settling in for a night we got our chips we got our pepsis i want you to put yourself in that space right and you've got a nintendo you've just got a new nintendo and you know, the problem with getting a Nintendo is sometimes you'd have to put it up on top of the console TV or whatever, and then you'd have to wait for mom and dad to be done watching it. Well, well what if you had your own TV in your room? I wasn't that rich. Jeremy was. What if you had oh, your own shit. TV in your room, right? I know I um, know what you're going to show up. Maybe you need something to store it on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I give you oh, no. the 1989... Nintendo! Oh, oh my god! god. Tray, <laughs> oh my god! Holy wow. shit! Wow! It is in perfect condition. Uh, this. Oh my god! Opens and everything. Just knock the light down. Oh no! <laughs> there we go. It's over. It opens it's up. Over. So yeah, I, I got it set up so you can see we got Metroid playing right now. Man, get your chips, get your Coke, get your Pepsi, whatever you want to <laughs> bring it in here, man. Let's go. Let's play some games. Wow. We got a few games down there. We're ready to go. Oh, I damn. see these on eBay and they're beat the shit and they go for about 270, 300. Um, this one is almost immaculate. Um, and I found it local. I drove out and picked it up. I paid much less than that for it. And I uh, didn't have to worry about it getting beat up in shipping. It's all just particle board. These are made in Canada. Uh, this is the TV cart. They also had a, a little smaller one that kind of went with it as a set with a drop down lid. And that was just big enough for the Nintendo. But this is the uh, TV cart. This is the only one big enough to hold the TV. So. Wow. 1989. Where's my Take uncle me Rina? back. Sit, sit there, Where's cross-legged Indian style, playing some games, baby. That's what it's all about. Wow. Yeah. I wouldn't need something <laughs> bigger than an ocarina for that one. Maybe a saxophone or something like that. <laughs> I so, feel personally well. attacked. I feel personally attacked. <laughs> this is what? not okay. <laughs> it's just not. Nice. <laughs> I, I, Tommy, I don't know if you know this because you're not a real YouTuber, but like YouTube has policies <laughs> against targeting other creators, and you just targeted me. You well, just were, targeted me. Yeah, well, those were made in Canada, you know, pre- uh, Free truck convoy issues so <laughs> the poll support. is live do we need to even lobby do you want me to show you my fucking super seven figures so that tommy <laughs> can show you his better ones you know i remember i remember i remember and i've told this story before on a live stream okay i had a 97 z28 camaro okay I had a 97 z28 six speed Okay, and I pull up next to this guy who's got a six cylinder and he's got his hot chick with him. And he just knows he knew he was defeated the moment I pulled up next to him. And I knew <laughs> I was going to smoke him off the line. I knew it was going to happen. Okay. And, and you could see the fear and, and doubt in his eyes. And I'm like, I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to destroy you and I'm going to take your girl. Okay. So right before, right before we take off, I look at my rearview mirror and there's a Camaro SS sitting behind me. And the SS has about 45 more horsepower than the Z28 stock. And I'm like, this is the circle of life. Like, I'm like, I'm the big dog. On, and then I look behind me and know the real big dog. And Tommy just brought memories of that moment up just now. You know? Uh, so it's a bigger fish. There's always a bigger fish. 
God dang it. But that in all seriousness, that was freaking cool as hell, dude. Holy shit, that was it awesome. It was. That was yeah. Tommy's a round. Happy to God, find it. Like Tommy's got 77%. Dan's got 16. I've got seven. <laughs> well. I'll vote for you this time, Jeremy. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate that. Here, now you have eight. Oh, you're back Thank to seven. You. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate that, buddy. You're welcome. Awkward. Yeah. I just don't know why you had to do that. I don't know why you had to do that. Well, you know. Yeah. I mean, after last. Well, I'm glad he saved everything for just this final round. If we had just distributed this <laughs> all the rounds, we would be fucked, right? Thank you, Lucha hey. Doe. Thank you. Voted for me. I appreciate that. I need all the help I can get right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, that was that was hella cool right there. That was uh holy crap. By the way, I did want to show this off because like I said, Tommy, Tommy has just kind of uh become known in, in our little world here, but I thought this was pretty cool. His tweet blew up the other day. It's got eighty four hundred nah. likes. Dude. Yeah, it won't stop going. <laughs> that was yours? Did yeah. You that? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's him. Dude, Sylvester Stallone himself shared that on his what? Instagram. Did you know that? What? Wait, that I didn't write that. I just shared it the other day. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, I you okay. Had... Right. No, I, 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 oh no, I no. Okay, it. yeah. I've seen it posted multiple places. I guess other all people. All right, hadn't. all right, all right. Okay. I, just I was about to say. I was, I was, like, I was scared. I yeah, was scared. I was scared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, like this is pretty. Yeah. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty awesome. So I love but anyway, Sylvester so so Stallone though. is awesome. Awesome as fuck. The fact that he he had the balls. I mean, he has nothing to prove anymore. Right, but the fact yeah. that he had the ball to post this on his Instagram in 2022, mm -hmm. man, what a guy! Yeah, that's Hell awesome. Yeah. Man. Hell yeah! Yeah, Demolition Man is a great movie. It's way ahead of its time, and it does not get the appreciation it deserves. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I wanted to show this tweet off because yeah, like what Tommy? Tommy messaged me yesterday. He goes, "Hey, you need a signal boost on Twitter? I got you." And I'm like, <laughs> "Holy fuck!" <laughs> I didn't realize. And when you sent it to me, so it had like 3,500, you know, it had like 3,500 yeah. likes. Now it's got up to 8,400, you know. It's just I mean? one of those so. things like it just, you know, people, people, you know, agree with that point of view and are sharing it. I, I didn't expect yeah. it to do that, yeah. but it's, uh, you know, definitely unusual for mm -hmm. what I do. It's not people don't share that so, stuff. So one thing um, we're going to try to uh, we're going to try to change the formula up slightly moving forward. I don't know what we're going to do. We have to talk about it. But like, I mean, because I think every week is kind of we've all had one win. You know what I mean? And so we, we've got to kind of figure out how we can break the tie, you know, because we all typically win one round. And we and we all kind of sense like, when can I drop my biggest, you know, bomb? And we yeah. kind of so um, There's a formula. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so I think we got to figure out a way to where we can at least have at least a fourth round or something like that to Just give add up the percentages. Yeah, or so yeah, that's true too. Yeah, Just add up the percentages. So, but having a having another guest on too, and and it's not that I don't necessarily help see where Chris or whoever we're gonna have on will be like competing with us necessarily, but they can at least be there to show off some of their pickups and then maybe add some commentary to ours. I know like as is another person we'd like to have, have on at some point yep. quarter black has expressed, expressed black, interest, yeah. obviously Gary, mm -hmm. uh, having Gary on when he gets settled, I think that'll be great. So yeah, I, I, uh, I think there's a lot of potential for the show and it's something that we would like to potentially make a weekly theme, but not from the competition side, maybe just a discussion, you know, where we where we just openly kind of talk about like retro collecting and have some discussion with the audience, but then have our competition because I I can't afford to do this every week. No, I can't do expected. it. <laughs> so, um, we, but we'll, we'll talk about that. We could we could just stream games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of potential out there for, for opportunities, but we appreciate all of your support. And like I said, you know, uh, this will stay public here on the channel. This is the most viewers we've ever had for this show. So it's it's continuing to grow. So we're really excited about it. Really excited about it. Um, but yeah, I got a couple of super chats real quick to get to. Uh, let's see what we got. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Try to see. Tommy wins, Tommy wins, blah, blah, blah. Fuck all that. Uh, Vernon <laughs> Copeland, cool stuff, but in 89, I was off to boot camp. Oh, is that, you said 2v2 That's, what, that's when we're talking about 1989 Nintendo stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nate D said, so many memories. This stream is awesome. 
Uh, well, thank you. Appreciate that. I see that super chat about Jack Murphy. I'll get to that in just a minute. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Megan says, you guys make me laugh uh, so hard every time. The looks on Dan and Jeremy's faces after Tommy's round was absolute gold. Thank you. Uh, the ghost of Flea with a $5 super sticker with a controller. Thank you. And then Pee Wee Pierre says, bring Jack Murphy on to show his toys. Uh, <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to see that. I want to see those um, pickups. But yeah, so like I said, I expect next month's show to be really good because like I said, I'm going to be doing some traveling. Um, so it's going to give me an opportunity to go to a lot of different stores. So I, I, I think I'll probably pick up some really cool, uh, you know, pickups. Obviously, Tommy and Dan are going to bring it every month and we'll have Chris Gore on next month. So Bragging Rights, the competition side of Bragging Rights will be the first Monday of every month. Um it's always a pleasure to have Dan here. I like having Dan here more so than having him Mario Kart because it's tough when you beat down such a famous and you know powerful musician like I did Sunday. It's just uh, you know lies. It, it hacking, was uh... hacking, cheating, and scheduling stream late. <sighs> and we got a lot of Mario Kart to play after the DLC announcement, ladies and gentlemen. So Mario Kart Hell will yeah. uh, continue, and we hit. We had almost 1,600 viewers again last night, so that's uh, record numbers for us. So, yeah, thank you guys for the support here on Mario Kart. We'll be live for Tuesday night's main event tomorrow. Um, I'll be live in about 30 minutes for our premium members playing Mario Kart for premium members on GatesandGamers.com. Um, Mo Zamboni, you should uh, sporadically play uh, followers or show followers uh, their awesome items. It would spur interaction. Love you guys. You know what? What if we did... What if we did something like in our Discord where we put a Bragging Rights monthly and you guys could share um, a, lot, a lot of your retro pickups and we could feature some of those pictures? It would kind of give a consolidated place on the Discord so I would have all the pictures there and then you guys could share it in there and then we could do something like that. So that's an idea. So That'd thank awesome. you for that. Thank you for that. Um, let's see, Tommy, what do you got going on, man? And uh, seriously, just... go subscribe to Tommy Tron TV. Mm -hmm. Go subscribe to his channel. Um uh, yeah, obviously make, a lot of fun. make fun make fun of him with this small channel um but that's <laughs> not you know he just started this out and has uh it's not he's not a full-time youtuber uh, this is just a passion project for him and he's part of geeks and gamers as well mm -hmm. but uh he's got a really great channel does some great content over there so what do you got going on man yeah it's fun i've been reorganizing things in a different playlist so i got uh one called retro hunting <clears throat> it's where i go out to basically the garage sales, flea markets, retro stores, all that stuff. And I just look for all the, all the stuff you see on this, on this stream and uh, all the stuff you see on my channel. And then uh, one called the collector life, which covers more of like going into retail stores. Cause I mean, I still go to targets, you know, look for those super seven figures, look for NECA stuff. I still collect stuff that is geared towards eighties and nineties or, you know, old school IP so, uh, you know, that's a place for that stuff to land. And then unboxings, like if I order something online, uh, I can put it in there. So, uh, you know, those are two pretty cool playlists that I'm pretty happy about starting up. And then I have toy reviews that I do. So, uh, yeah, it's been fun kind of getting that organized and seeing some growth over there. So, you know, thanks for all the support. And if you jump over there and check it out, you know, you know, please subscribe and come back and, you know, enable the notifications and, and, keep checking it out because it doesn't grow unless people share it and like it. And if you, if you like it, subscribe. I mean, I, I was guilty of that for the longest time as a YouTube viewer, you know, not subscribing to people's channels that I was watching. And um, it only takes a second. It just helps so much the channel grow. You just have no yeah. idea. So thank you for that. Absolutely. And, you know, it's just, uh, it's exciting, you know, cause I like the retro element and, like I was in a retro store today and I was talking to it was an older gentleman that was running the store and he was basically we were talking about prices of things and all of that. And he's like, well, what are you looking for? And I was like, I'm not looking for anything specific. I just like I like the hunt. You know, I like like I can get any game I want online. And, and don't get me wrong. There's times I have bought stuff online, but there's just a certain magic with like, you know, going into a store that's a retro store and not knowing what's in there. You're like, what it's an adventure, yeah. you know? So it's mm -hmm. like, like when, yes, yes. Like Tommy, you remember this when, when we were younger, 
and you know our parents would take us to kmart or walmart and it was just like what gi joes are they gonna have you mm -hmm. know because we were like oh what if they have tunnel rat what if they have snake eyes okay well if they only have one gung-ho who gets it you know yeah. it was this excitement and now you go into a store and like there's a little bit of surprise element that comes into going to stores now but it ain't like it used to be because <clears throat> everything is streamlined everything you kind of know what's going to be there like occasionally like i got excited to go in and for the turbo man the funko pop turbo man mm -hmm. well for like two weeks you couldn't find them so it was exciting and then like the next week i go in and they're everywhere just <laughs> yeah. everywhere and i'm like well okay uh <laughs> let's see uh do we have mods in the chat right now tommy are you a mod on the channel you want to drop your link yeah, uh, yeah. link to your channel right now yeah, um that. but yeah so i mean that's that's a really cool element to it for sure um and i just i that's what i miss about it. i miss the retro shopping aspect of it and so there's obviously cool stores in your area and uh you know i, I hope everybody goes out and supports though their local retailers but Absolutely. other than that other than that dan it's awesome uh always having you here man for sure it's awesome and, to uh, be here man He's uh, it's making me uncomfortable how good Dan's getting at Mario Kart. I really don't like it. I don't <laughs> like it. Um, but we got to get you on Splatoon, Dan. We got to get yeah. you on Splatoon. I need to so buy it. Yeah. You'll appreciate the uh, it's got it's kind of got like some of the music got really eight bit kind of feel, sixteen bit feel with the awesome. music, um, and just the gameplay and everything like that. It's uh, super cool. So, other than that, you guys have a great night. We appreciate Oh, premium. I see you guys talking about premium. It's ten dollars a month over on gatesandgamers.com. Um, and then um if you if you're signing up right now, um you'll need to hmm, what's the best way I can get you the link immediately? If you sign up in the next if you sign up in the next 25 minutes, um I can I'll send you a, a an email out to give you the link to uh so I'm playing Mario Kart with our members right now tonight. Um, and by the way, to all of our members, I have been doing tournaments for Mario Kart, but uh, I actually made another account, so now I can play uh, with you guys in an open lobby. So I'll be over there. Krista Nova should be joining us, um, so that's going to be cool. So me and Krista and maybe a few more uh, members of the Geeks and Gamers team. But other than that, you guys have a great night. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Comment below when it's public. Timestamp your favorite part. Probably when I won. That was my favorite part of the stream. Uh, definitely. I might have to go back and edit that part out where Tommy, where he basically attacked me. Now I know how Brie Larson <laughs> felt with the personal attacks. Um, but other than that, you guys have a good night, and we will talk to you later. Bye, everyone. Bye.